ask you, Lord, that you continue to put your hand of protection about us, Lord, protect us from danger, seen and unseen, rebuke death, rebuke the power. And Lord, keep us, Lord, keep us in the center of your will. Continue to work in us, Lord, both the will and the do of your good pleasure. And Father, we'll be magnified, give us glory and honor in the presence of my name, of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. That's our Bible say. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. We want you to turn with us uh, to the book of First Peter, uh, chapter number three. First Peter, chapter number three. And tonight we'll be talking about uh, suffering for righteousness. Suffering for righteousness. is unity 
represents uh, having uh, the same promotion of Christ. We all have different minds. We all have different thoughts and ideas. We all have different backgrounds. But, but we have a common cause, and that common cause is Jesus. That common cause is promoting Christ. That common cause is should be helping my brother or my sister so that they can make it as well. Not only do I want to make it, but I want to see you make it. Not only should you want to see uh, 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 yourself make it, but you should want to see other people make it as a body. Amen? And, and as God is concerned about others, we ought to be concerned about others. Especially those that are of the household of faith. Especially those that are of the household of faith. Notice what he says. He says, uh, finally, be ye all of one mind. That means one mind. And that's uh, uh, a good definition of that is found in Romans chapter number 12 and verse 16. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> I had to memorize, mesmerize. <laughs> mesmerize. <laughs> uh, somebody said, you think too high there, so that's And you're in the same mind, one toward another. Now, now, notice, here it is again. Paul said, be of the same mind, one toward another. Meaning, uh, have no respect of person. Uh, have no respect to the person. People come from different stations in the body of Christ. Some have privilege, some uh, uh, don't have privilege, some are middle class, some 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 have no class, if you know what say. But, but you know, uh, 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 as James said, when somebody comes into your uh, uh, assembly, you know, don't put them under the bench or under the seat up uh, and then some, because uh, you're looking on the outward appearance, you say, oh, wow, they, they must be somebody, so you bring them up into the high seat. No, don't do that. You know, treat people uh, as the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them what? Do unto, do unto you. No, she said, be of be the same mind, one toward another. Read. Mind not my thing. Don't, don't, don't be having respect for the person. But condescend to men of low estate. Now, when you see somebody that that that, that doesn't uh, have or that is lacking, that is needy, you know, condescend. Uh, when, and that condescend is not a negative term. It means that you're considering them. At least you yourself would be in that situation. You're considering them. Amen. Consider your, now we're talking here, not people out in the world. We're talking people that are in the body of Christ. We're talking about people that are in the church. We're talking about people that are in your assembly. Amen? In your body. Y'all follow me? So he says, he said, uh, uh, my, my, my things, but kind of sin to men of low estate. Read. Be not wise in your own that means don't, don't evil smile in the sense of, well, uh, if, 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 if he would have did what the pastor said or if he would have did what the Bible said, wouldn't be in that situation. So forget him. I'm not going to help him. You know, you know how we be. <laughs> you know how we be. You know how we be. Uh, put, uh, and I'll hold on to two and two together. Uh, but not really realizing that Maybe the person is feeble now. Maybe the person didn't have a full understanding of the word of God. And then if something is lacking, but it uh, be in a bad situation, something is, is missing. And, and it's more or less, it's more or less like this. It's like, it's like when you, as, as, a, as a parent, you see your child, uh, they, they, they're doing some things that are wrong and misguided, but, but, you know, you don't just cast them away. Uh, you don't just throw them away. Uh, you still reach out to them to, in hopes of you can snatch them out of the fire. In hopes of you can bring them back. 
back into right relationship uh, with not only with yourself but with God. This is what he's talking about. Amen? Laying aside your own thoughts and your own pride and, and your, your own uh, 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 way of thinking of, 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 of the individual. But, but notice what he said. Be not wise in your own conceits, you know, your own thoughts, your own, your own uh, surmising. I'm not going to call it evil surmising, but your, your, uh, you know how we put two and two together and we come up with four and then we say, well, because of that, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to turn my back on you. Uh, no, God said, don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, we have no heaven and hell to put nobody in. Amen. Um, God is the judge. Amen. I'm so glad he's the judge. Amen. Everybody knew what David said. Uh, uh, when, 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 well, when he numbered the children of Israel, he wasn't supposed to number them. And the reason why that was is because God didn't want him to depend on his army. He wanted him to use his army. But God didn't want him to depend on his army. Because, you know, if you count and you got a million soldiers, then you can become emboldened and think that you can do such and such. Amen. God never wants us to think that we, we were independent of him. Amen. Uh, and so when David numbered the soldiers, God, God got upset. Uh, then he started killing folk around him because of what David did. And then when David finally repented, uh, and, and, and the punishment was about to come upon David. Uh, he, he, God, God said, well, David, you want me to get you or you want uh, 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 man to get you? And David said, oh, God, I want you to get me because, man, they don't know how to treat me. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. You know what I'm saying when I say that? They may be guilty as all get out. You follow me? 
said, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And in the same judgment. And the same judgment. Meaning, meaning that, that, that whatever the judgment represents, whatever is the word of God says, that's what you say.
And uh, verse 21, what does it say? For even here, here unto we were we all. Uh -huh. Because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us as an example that ye should follow his steps. Now, Christ suffered behind his brethren. They, like Joseph, they, they threw him in a pit. They killed him. Huh? They threw 
is much more precious. Realize that what you're going through, the test you're in right now, is precious. I'm going to tell you something. My test is precious. I'm going to tell you something. My test is precious. And because my test is precious, I'm going down. I'm not going to down. I'm going to go right now. It don't feel good. It doesn't look good. But I'm going down. But I'm going down. Why? Because it's bringing me closer. I'm just expanding the establish. I'm just going to settle me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do y'all believe that? Yeah. 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 Yeah
And um, it was literally about a five foot tall like that. Fast car. And uh, she talked me into buying that car. Soon as I drove that car off the lot and buy it divorce. <laughs>